Sunday morning service is over. Let your weekly service begin. It's so exciting for us to be able to do a message and a series that points people to Jesus. It really should be what we're all about anyways. But this Fresh Fruit series, the fruit of the Spirit, all modeled by Jesus. Today we looked at goodness and patience. And the idea of us being good and patient is only because God is first good and patient. Look, he was approached as good teacher and he asked the young rich ruler, why do you call me good? Only God alone is good. He wasn't saying I'm not good. He was saying, do you know who you're talking to? And so for us, I want to say, do we know who it is that we're following? Are we trying to look more like Jesus? Or are we trying to look more like some artist rendition? Or are we trying to look like ourselves or our best case scenario of ourselves or even maybe some other people? Jesus is all good all the time doesn't always feel it. And sometimes, and Josh said this today when we were talking about it as well, or singing it as well with my soul, sometimes we're not feeling it. Sometimes we're not really sure if it is well, but God is good. And so it can be well with our soul because of who he is, and he gives us that strength. So listen up, on patience and goodness, I wanna give you a live it out opportunity today. This idea of memorizing the scriptures has been long, lauded as this wonderful thing to do and to make you stronger. Hide God's word in your heart that you might not sin against it. But it's kind of a little bit of a lost art. And so I want to ask you to join me in reading through and memorizing Romans 12, 9 through 21. It's a very, very good passage. It's a very well-known passage. The end says, don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So there you go. You got Romans 12, 21 done. But there's some other verses. And I want to ask you to join me in that. And for a month, recite that, read it, and write it out. So read it, recite it, write it. Take time to memorize this. And then it'll teach you about encouragement, it'll teach you about goodness, and it'll teach you about patience. And doing what's good, even when people around you aren't. So I guess we're going to be more like Jesus. That's the encouragement for us. I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Be strong and courageous, and let it be contagious. <gasps> Before I go, here's a bonus. I want to encourage you to list as many things that you've seen God's goodness in as you possibly can. And then share that list with three people. So share, like write down a list of things that show God's goodness and then share that with three people this week. All right, now I'm really gone. God bless you. See ya.